Lee, good morning. Welcome aboard. Through a uh, pre-takeoff checklist here, flight instruments are set, seatbelts are on, fuel boost is norm, ice protection is on, standby power's on, lights, get the nav light on, our taxi recogs on. System test, okay. Holes are free and correct, set, we can keep closed for now. Flaps set 10, 20, trims are one, two, and three ways. Top lever max, radios are set, transponder is set for now. Autopilot, I believe it's gonna be runway 18, we'll get the ATIS in a minute here. We'll set our altitude here, 3,000, we're IFR today, so we're gonna be uh, on the SID out of St. Andrews. St. Andrews 6. You go ahead and grab the ATIS. We'll taxi to the hold short line uh, for the taxiway there and uh, we'll get set up here. This is St. Andrews Airport Information Bravo. Limited weather at 1211. Winds uh, 220 at 10. Visibility is 12 miles. 11,000 broken, altimeter 29 or 73, landing and departing runway 22. The IFR departures runway 18, IFR approach and are now for runway 18. Inform the arrival controller of your requested approach on initial contact and inform ATC you have received information, Bravo. All right, here we have Bravo. We'll quickly review the SID here for runway 18. Sure we know what we're doing on departure here. Alrighty, runway 18, climb heading 184 to 2,000 feet, then climbing left turn heading 110 or is assigned by ATC. Maintain 3,000 feet. We'll uh, keep that in mind and we'll uh, give uh, ground a call here. Pick up our IFR. Ground, good morning, Northway. 860s on 4 with Bravo or IFR Poplar River. Northway 860, St. Andrews ground. Uh, good morning, clear to the Poplar River Airport, St. Andrews 6 departure, flight plan route and squawk 4736. Northway 860, clear to the Poplar River Airport, St. Andrews 6 departure, flight plan route 4736. Northway 860, tower read back correct. Runway 18, altimeter 2972, taxi by Charlie Towers 118.5, holding short of the runway. 2972, left Charlie, tower short 18, Northway 860. All right, altimeter set, transponder codes in there. Our props, overspeed governor check here quickly. We make it to the old short line. Prop normally governs at about 1900 RPM. The overspeed governor check here throttles it at 1760. We're looking for six or or minus 60. Track if required, line up runway 18, short delay for IFR separation. Check marks lining up 18 Northway, 860. Runway looks clear. All right. We're going to run through a quick lineup check. Ignition is on. Strobes are on. Condition lever will come to high as soon as we get the takeoff clearance. And our fuel selectors are on both. Lineup's complete. Climbs to go. Now we have uh, tower set in the active frequency and we have terminal 19.9 in our standby slot. Earth 860, tower contact departure 119 or decimal 9 or airborne, winds 2306, clear takeoff runway 18. 199 airborne, clear takeoff 18, Northway 860. All right, power levers coming up. Props governing, 
and we can push the torque up to 1865. All right, you take up power set. Airspeed's alive. Gauges are green. Temperatures and pressures we're looking at. Holding the center line. Seventy knots. There's rotate. Nice and smooth this morning. Good morning, St. Andrews Ground. Uh, this is Tabria uh, Fox Radical, right? Quebec, Quebec, on apron 2, requesting departure to uh, Volcanic Marsh at 2000 with information Bravo. Fox Radical, right? Quebec, Quebec, St. Andrews Ground, runway 22, altimeter 2972, taxi via Bravo, then Charlie across runway 18, down 13, towers 118.5, holding short of runway 22. All right, 400 yeah, feet there. Four on Charlie for 18. Ops are 10. We'll set our flight level climb to uh, like VY 104. Stop 2-4 ground. Uh, proceed down 18. Do you need the lights? Negative. Air system geese in the threshold area of 18. Okay, check. We're still flying heading 184. We're through uh, about 1.3 now. We're going to be tracking uh, to 2,000 feet on 184, and then through 2,000 to 3,000. It's going to be heading 1104 as assigned by ATC. Right, there's 800 feet, flaps are up. In it up a little bit, get that autopilot on. After takeoffs here, lights, ignition, ice protection, power, and steps closed. Terminal, good morning, Northway, 860s away, 118 Andrews, we're through 1.8. Northway 860, we're in a picture. Good morning, identified. Climb 6000, when safely able, turn left direct Poplar River. Climb 6000, and when safely able, left direct Poplar River, Northway 860. You go ahead and do that right now. Hit the turn. We got 6000 in the box. Two 361, for six. contact Winnipeg Center 1180. 1180, watch Autopilot is your friend, single pilot IFR. All about reducing the workload. The weather this morning, it's in VFR out of St. Andrews. I think we're expecting some IFR weather on our way back. Up north should be good. It's always good to practice. Practice flying IFR on good weather days because when good weather comes, you'll be ready to go. Weather 640 South Proud, 2 meter 2973. Now we're out of heading mode. I've uh, hit direct on our uh, GPS here, or navigation mode, which means the aircraft is now following. It's in our uh, flight plan here, which is direct to Poplar River. That's the time for 1,000 feet to go to our target altitude. So we're through 5,000 now, and 1,000 to go for 6,000. What I like to do is now that we're at 6,000 feet, I'll let the plane accelerate at least to about 130 knots on the speed. That'll bring the power back. I'll set uh, 1450 for the foot-pounds, that's the torque gauge. And then I'll bring our prop back to our cruise setting of 1750. It's at 1900 right now. As the prop comes back, there should be a small torque rise, about 100 foot-pounds. So it should go from 1450 to 1550. 1550, 1750 is generally like we, what we like to run as our cruise setting here at Northway on the caravan. Here's our 130 now. Courage at 918, contact Winnipeg Center, 1180, see ya. 180, Courage at 918, heavy, good day. Power set for cruise. 
and we'll burn from the left tank only now. Northway 60, contact Winnipeg Center, 1180, good day. 180 Northway 60, good morning. Winnipeg, good morning, Northway 860 with you, 6000. Northway 860, Winnipeg Center, good morning, 6000. A few moments later. Alrighty, welcome back. Just about to start our descent to Poplar River here, at a 4.5. We're going to be landing runway 28 today, winds are light and out of the west. Poplar River is a difficult airport for pilots up here. It's 2,500 feet long and 60 feet wide. And it's crushed rock. On either end of the runway, it's flanked by water. So you got to make the landing short, and you got to do it quick. we got another caravan behind us by about seven miles, and I think we have a King Air just ahead of us here. So it's going to be busy. Poplar can sometimes be the LaGuardia of the north. Alrighty, the VNAV is activated. It's coming down at 500 feet per minute. Pull the power back to about 1,500 foot-pounds. Poplar River traffic, Northway 860. Caravan is 17 to the south at a 4.5 in the descent for runway 28. That will be wheels down in six minutes. And we check uh, number two for traffic. Okay, check mark. So our TCAS here shows that King Air is seven and a half in front of us, and the company caravan is seven and a half miles behind us. On the ramp there, uh, especially for propeller planes, we like to park on concrete, just because when the blades are going, they suck rocks into the prop, and uh, if the prop is anything but uh, steel, like a composite, like a graphite, It'll just destroy the prop. Fortunately, these are steel. So what we do is uh, we try to park on the pad, although there's only one pad here. And if we can't get the pad, you'll see me uh, pull the broom out later, and I'll sweep in front of the prop. That way we're just uh, sucking up dirt when we fire up. Not an issue when the aircraft's moving, though. But uh, standing still, not good for the blades. Alrighty, we can run a quick descent checklist here. Ice protection is set for now. Altimeters we got set. Power is set. Ignition lever is high. Fuel selectors are on both. Lights are set for now and GPS nav is we're still direct. Poplar River traffic Northway 845 Caravan 18 south. In the center 3.7. We'll be planning 28107 minutes number three. Alright, you see you on eight. Boulder 350 is just turning 3 final 28 off the river. Good right now. Alright, so we can go ahead and uh, get the aircraft in heading mode here. Northway 840 is 8 miles to the south of Little Grand. Starting our descent to the 3000 for the water Pungasi in 5 minutes. So what I've done now is the computer is no longer navigating directly to the airport. It's going to follow our heading book. So I've turned it about 10 degrees to the right here to queue up for a left base for 28. And I've got our VS, our vertical speed there, set to about 500 feet per minute. That should put us at uh, circuit altitude uh, about three miles back from the field. Two or three miles back. We can get the aircraft configured for landing in just the right amount of time. Over 620 down, Poplar River. All right, that first airplane is in. We're number two, and we got company behind us here. We can hand fly the rest of the way here. We've only got about uh, four miles to go. That's the autopilot coming off. Oh, bro, my is 16 is up here. Like, we can turn our flight director off as well. I got the airport visually here. And power is coming back. We're going to slow down to 130 knots, where we're going to get our first increment of flaps 10 degrees down. After 130, we're looking for about 120 knots, and that's flaps 20, which we'll be landing today. POH is 175 and 150, but our company likes to use 130, 120. Helps extend that flap life and all the parts.
All right, flaps tent coming down. And a quick before landing check that I like to do. Flaps 20 are in transit. Northway 60, short final, 28 Pablo River. 500. All right, airspeed looks good. I like about 95 knots short final. And we can go ahead and retard the throttle here and flare the aircraft. Holding the nose off. We got beta on the prop. There's low idle and flaps are coming up, flying brakes. Data clear to a Pablo River. All righty. Uh, see how we can park here without blasting these guys. There we have it. Welcome to Poplar River. Governing, and there goes the Cobra. They got powers.